Six years ago, our maths teacher showed us how to reduce endless isometric transformations of an object in two-dimensional space into a single one. He mentioned that this method was once discovered by him as his mind wandered off while he was on the bus stuck in traffic. He had been working on it for a few months on the way between his house and university. I was very fond of his discovery. Every series of movements in space can be reduced into one simple transformation that would describe how you get from one point to another. I chose isometric transformation as a way to describe my journey through Canvey Island to see what this type of reduction results in. What if I was to keep all the memories of what I witnessed walking around the island, but present them as the effect of one single step, a leap through the island? I started to visualize some of the possible outcomes of such an experience. One of the more significant objects I saw was a boat in someone's garden. I had never seen one previously that wasn't in the water. When I looked at my notation, I realized that now the boat was both in the garden and in the water. If I was to look back at my journey according to the equation, my memories would have to merge, but that's just one way of interpreting the mathematical description of such a trip. This was obviously not true to the real experience, but geometry is never meant to be true to the real experience anyways. I wondered why people are so fond of geometry, and I stumbled upon a paper explaining our obsession with symmetry. I read that we look out for symmetries to spot predators, as this is what distinguishes animal faces from the surroundings. We watch out for symmetries to survive, as anything that resembles symmetry might kill us.